most of the stuff I sell online is either letter or large letter and that's usually done via the Royal Mail click and drop so you print off the label at home stick it on the thingy and just stick it in a in a post box which is really handy but if you've got something bigger something like that size then you got a couple of options yeah you can go to the post office but that's kind of slow in my opinion or you can go to the Harvey's parcel parcel shops excuse me um which is fine but they close early uh like it is three o'clock in the morning so we're here at an in post locker uh, in post lockers are 24 hours basically you print off your label at home just like you would with the click and drop one from Royal Mail you come to the machine you scan the code and then there's these lockers they'll open up and you put it in and it'll be collected the next day which is pretty handy also I think you can actually receive parcels here as well so if you're out and all that kind of stuff then it is pretty handy so we'll see kind of what it's like to use so we just touch the screen to start it and then we press send a parcel so press send a parcel um, you can key in your thingy or the package has a barcode on it and that'll usually come up just confirm it so press that it'll open uh, a compartment for you hopefully it opens the right size one so that's only the large one you see that's too big for us we actually want a medium so we'll set open medium so press that on the screen we'll close that locker so close that one and it should open up a, a medium sized one. Oh, no it wants to scan it again there we go and it's opened a medium sized locker so we just stick it in here like that close it come back press next I've closed the door yep okay right it took me 39.9 seconds usually when I'm doing this without a camera it'll take between 5 and 10 seconds it's a little game if you've, if you've got a lot, uh, a lot to do you can print a receipt or you can get an email to you you just press over now and that's it done Right, so what is some disadvantages and advantages of the in-post lockers? We'll start with the positives and the advantages with the in-post lockers. Uh, the first thing that's an advantage, to me anyway, or anybody really, but it's a 24-hour service, which is super handy. So you can come here, 2 o'clock in the morning, whenever, 24 hours, uh, put your package in, just get it in and that's it done. Uh, you don't have to stand around waiting at a post office. You don't have to go to a parcel shop and wait there. Um, and like I says, post offices close depending on which time obviously in 2020 all the opening and closing times are a bit all over the place but uh, they usually close at what four five something like that um so if you do work different hours then this is really handy even parcel shops parcel shops can close as late as eight o'clock sometimes but um this is 24 hours so it's really handy for me uh one of the or the second advantage uh, as well is price uh to send small stuff like for example one kg and under it's two pound seventy or two pound eighty uh without insurance or with insurance it's around about that price it's under three pound anyway and that's for a two-day service which is pretty good i know that's comparable with the price of like the hermes parcel shop but i still think that's pretty fair for a two-day service um and that's pretty good the other thing as well is it's fully tracked so as soon as i've put it in the locker it'll come up on the tracking you know it's been dropped off and it's put in the locker and then you've got um, full tracking so when you give it to your customers and stuff like that then that way they can see how long it's going to take and all that kind of stuff uh, one of the other advantages as well is but this is like less so if you sell on Amazon and obviously eBay is going to manage payments now but you can pay with PayPal um, and a while ago that was really handy because if you're getting paid through PayPal and you can pay for your posts through PayPal it's just a lot easier but like I said that's less of a thing if you're selling on Amazon or you're on eBay's managed payments as well now so what are some of the disadvantages of using the in post lockers um, one of the disadvantages whichever way you want to look at it is it's being delivered by Hermes so that's either an advantage or it's a disadvantage um, we've all had experiences with Hermes, good ones and bad ones. Um, I used Hermes in the past and I stopped using them, but to be fair, they've been alright. I've always had positive experiences with the InPost, but in the past I have had bad experiences with Hermes. But to be fair, they are better now. But I do know people who won't send anything with Hermes. They'll use Royal Mail, DHL, DPD, literally anybody but Hermes. So, I mean, that's a disadvantage when you look at it. Um, the other disadvantage I mean, you could look at as well is that depending on where you live is locations of these lockers so this locker is actually on the other side of town for me so it's about a five minute drive maybe 10 minute drive but i live in a small place um, so it's not too bad but 
if you're just delivering one package, it might not necessarily be worth it. If you live in a bigger city, I'd imagine you have much more of these. Therefore, you probably have one close to your house. So that is uh, something to kind of consider as well. And one of the last disadvantages is the size that you can send. Um, I think the maximum size you can send is maybe 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters by something. So if you've got anything over 45 centimeters, um, or as close to those measurements anyway, it won't fit in these lockers, which is a bit of a shame. And then you're stuck with just kind of your normal carriers. Uh, so you don't have the 24 hour access and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of the everything I've got to say about impose lockers. I just thought it'd be a handy thing to put up because I always saw this come up on, you know, uh, parcel to go and stuff like that. And I didn't really know what it was. I thought, oh, lockers, I'm not sure what that's about, how it's going to work and stuff like that. But once I did it the first time, it was fine. Um, so, yeah, I was just letting you guys know. All right, cheers, guys. Bye.